Hey, here we are with part 7 of the Battlefront playthrough. In this level, we get to play as Han Solo as he searches for information that could help him and Chewbacca free the Wookiee homeworld of Kashyyyk. Han and Chewie's attempts to liberate Kashyyyk from the Empire can be further read about in the Aftermath trilogy. Senator Organa, it's been a while. Building a republic is busy work. <laughs> so is chasing after an imperial fleet. It's about to get busier, Commander. I need a favor. One of our generals has gone missing. I tracked him to Takodana, but he isn't answering his call. I need you to find Han Solo. Hey, Maz. Pour me another Park Kellen sling. Not until you pay for the last one. Come on, you know I'm good for it. <laughs> I don't know that you're good for anything. Where's my Wookiee? Chewie's working on the Falcon. Long-range communicator took a hit back on Jomar. You never bring him around anymore. <laughs> you make him nervous. <laughs> you two are up to something. Spit it out. You know our business goes through me. I'm meeting an Imperial turncoat. Says he can help us free the Wookiees back on Kashyyyk. You seen him? I swear, if you bring the Empire to my doorstep... You know I always cover my tracks. Come on now, help me out. Help Chewie. I don't know your man, but it is late, and you may find that this crowd is talkative. Thanks, Maz. I owe you one. You owe me more than that, Han Solo. And don't you forget it. Alright, so this cantina has a lot of patrons, and they're all having conversations with each other, most of which have references in them to other Star Wars material. In the gameplay, I walk around and listen to all of them. So if you just want to skip ahead and avoid all of that to when the story continues, I put the time frame in the description. The LD-65s are out of production. Already? That's what I heard. Can't get one anymore. Shame. For real shame. At least we got one of our own. When was the last time you saw I don't know. It's hard to remember. I just... I miss her. I miss Gonki so much. Why not just buy another droid? It wouldn't be the same. Gonki was my friend. She liked to walk around the apartment, give me advice, have oil baths, that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. No, no I don't. So you have no need for weapons. That is acceptable. I have acquired many of the rarest items in the galaxy. Precious ores, vintage vessels, ancient masks, assassin droids. All these things can be yours. I insist you purchase something. I will wait. They're worth more alive, I get it. But it's just easier to kill them. Do the math. The fuel you burn chasing someone cuts into your reward. You blast the target, cash in, move on to the next, and you're earning more faster. Don't give me that look. You can't guilt me. 
If they wanted to be alive so badly, they wouldn't have someone trying to kill them. It's easy. We ambush them. Imperial convoy? Yeah. I know a spot on the Altano trade route. I like it. We're gonna need a crew. That's why we're here, isn't it? Keep an eye out. She was not. She absolutely was. You're delusional. You're jealous. I am not. All right, maybe a little. Wait, she's looking at us again. Us? Me. Oh. Don't know how I'm gonna pay mass for the room. Stop worrying. The plan is foolproof. Sure. Smuggling stuff inside a Tauntaun's a good idea. You're gonna get caught. The Senate is on Chandrilla. The Empire's all over Coruscant. Running in and out of the core like this is reckless. We're just trying to protect you. Yeah. The longer you're alive, the more credits we can make. Together. But we don't need these risks. Think about it. Fine, fine. I'll think about it. Now keep your voices down. The last thing we need is someone stealing our ideas. So, what brings you all the way out here? The place a lot low. Can't cash in on the smuggler you can't find. Am I right? You have a bounty on your head? Hey, it's no big thing. Four death sentences, a couple angry huts, one angry empire. What about you? How'd you end up here? I come to the castle to find loudmouths telling the wrong people they're worth a lot of money. Your, uh, bounty hunter? Finish your drink. It's the last one for a while. The Republic doesn't care about you. Neither does the Empire. Choose your side wisely. There's only one side. Your side? No, the Republic! You're not listening. Ah, forget it. I can't talk to you when you're like this. All those flight hours at Sky Strike Academy and for what? Just to get kicked out and end up here? Stupid Empire. Yeah, dead meat. Huh? I didn't get that. Which part? Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> I don't understand you. You've gotta be kidding me. What? Great. I don't understand you. Don't you have anything to say? I just poured my heart out. Wait, can you do that? Sounds dangerous. Hearts shouldn't pour. Wait, was that, what was I saying? Why are you just staring at me? Is that what we're doing now? Staring? I can do that. Let's do it. Let's stare. Look at me. I'm staring. Stare. You're gonna sell me the ship for my price. And I'm not gonna put a hole in your gut. That's the deal. I sincerely recommend you take it as offered. Take your time to think about it. Carefully. No way! That's Han Solo! Look! No, don't look, look. Definitely stop staring. Just pretend he's not there. Oh, he sees us. He definitely sees us. Be cool. Pretend we're talking about something else. Someday, I'm gonna own a joint like this of my own. Roddy, good to see you. Listen, pal, I'm looking for a friend named Paldora. You know him? After you left me stranded during the Zerka job? Not a chance. Come on, it all worked out. It must have, because here you are. Back off. Find your Paldora on your own. You two can talk about your stupid beards. So he's a bearded guy. Got it. It's just a race. You can do this. One quick tune-up and you can take the championship. Still moving cargo for Black Sun? Yeah. Outer room is prosperous, to say the least. 
Pyron like you wouldn't believe. I got access to muscle if you need a connection. Follow my own lead, Tula, but I'll keep that in mind. Thanks. I can get you all the Munyak wool you want, but the question remains whether or not you can afford it. Understand something here. Munyak wool has no price for me. I mean that literally. I do anything to feel that fuzz. It's the truth. Something tells me you two do not agree on this. Why don't I give you a moment to talk it over? If the rumor about Ryloth is true, I can see him again. Keep walking. Maz and me, we go way back. She and my dad would raid derelict ships, yeah? I'd go with them sometimes. No, no, really. Oh, you, you don't believe me? Well, fine. Go ask her yourself. I'll wait. You know, you look just like a friend of mine, name of Haldora. You think I look like that idiot drinking Marinzane gold? He can afford to drink Marinzane gold? Must be nice, right? <laughs> It was, like, huge. Trandoshan. No, 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 no scales. Furry. Definitely a Wookiee. Oh, please, I know what a Wookiee looks like. Okay, what else? Big green eyes. And he was sort of purple. Ah, the rare and legendary purple Wookiee. You're the worst. Hey, Mr. Paldora. Long time no see. My Wookiee pal was just asking about you. You must be confusing me with that insufferable man upstairs. My mistake. <laughs> I'll get to meet a Wookiee very soon, if you know what I mean, wink wink. <laughs> you... you don't know what I mean, do you? Han Solo! I'm Imperial Specialist Ralsius Paldora. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. Shh! You want to keep it down? Oh, right, right. Because we're meeting incognito. 
Come on, we need to get you out of here. Off we go then! I have the information you asked for. Not on me, of course. I've hidden two data cubes in the woods. For safety. You've gotta be kidding me. The first one has Imperial shipping routes, fueling locations, hidden armaments. It's all for the Republic, in exchange for safe passage and asylum. What about your Kashyyyk intelligence? It's in a separate location. Trust me, I have everything you need to free the Wookiees. Tell me how you learned all this stuff. Imperial officers like to talk, power plays and whatnot, particularly for one gentleman, name of Rax, if you know him. I can't say that I do. He's rather intense. Shall we? Oddly enough, most statisticians are killed by apprentice statisticians. Oh dear. Friends of yours? I assume this is your fault? Usually is. What's my number one rule, Solo? No fighting. Come on. We gotta move. I stashed the first data cube at a generator just ahead. I think. You really couldn't bring the intel with you, huh? Mr. Solo, I'm a covert agent now. I wasn't bringing the information with me. The canteen is full of... Well, scoundrels! Let's just get the data and get to the Falcon. Stormtroopers, stay quiet. We gotta take them out. No, no. You do. This blaster's just for show. I never learned to shoot. Huh. Great. Got it. The intelligence on that data cube should help your friends in the Republic. Look out! More of them! It's all about timing. Where is the Kashyyyk intelligence? Stored near a lovely shrine just through the forest. Onward! You must have good intel if they're sending this many troopers after you. The Empire is in worse shape than anyone realizes. They're terrified the Republic will find out. The fleet is burning more fuel flying away from your attacks than it can resupply. One in every 148 Imperial officers surrender seeking asylum. Our Starfighter numbers are down 3.4%. That's all great, but what about Kashyyyk? Are you sure your information can help the Wookiees? It will get you on the planet. Not much, but me and Chewie will shut down those labor camps alone if we have to. Ah, yes! The mighty Chewbacca! Oh, I can't wait to meet him! You seem worried. Is it because Maz is angry at you? I'm sure she will forgive you in no time. Shows how well you know Maz. Did 
should I leave that Wookiee intel? I'll find it. Found it. Reinforcements, get down! Getting down! That should help get you onto the Wookiee planet. Now, to your famous Falcon. You know the Falcon. On average, I'd say 2.2 of every 300 Imperials knows the Millennium Falcon. Ready. We gotta get out of here quick. What do I do? Shut up and run, would you, pal? I'll hold them off. Just get the ship ready to fly. Today is not my favorite day. Glad to see you. What brings you out here, Commander? You do, General. Senator Organa sent us. I take it back, Chewie. This is the worst day imaginable. <laughs> You're clear on the ground, but we got bad guys and ties on the way. <sighs> Just once it would be nice if they didn't put up a fight. Where's the fun in that, General? Freighter you've got. 
shot is something. But its hyperdrive fails 1.22 times more often than the 2400 model. Shui, get him out of my cockpit. No, wait, I'll behave. Just be sure you do come back. Don't worry. You can't get rid of us that easily. She's all yours, Commander. I'm telling you, gal, whatever you did to this droid, it's not right. <laughs> I just fixed it. You can't blame me if it likes you now. Inferno Squad. Shrev, I haven't seen you since Lando volunteered you for this. How you been? Wonderful, Senator. What's on your mind, Commander? According to Peldora's intel, my father has been running operations on Bespin and Sullust. I'd like your permission to find him and capture him. You don't report to me, Aiden. A fleet command might not approve us undertaking such a personal mission. Ah, oh, well, we can't have an Imperial Admiral out there reinforcing the fleet, can we? I'd appreciate you bringing him in, Commander. Yes, ma'am. And may the Force be with you. That will conclude this mission. Leia would eventually send out another squad of New Republic agents later on in that year when, once again, Han failed to check in with her. This can be seen, once again, in the Aftermath trilogy of books.